Hey guys, what's up? Mandy here. In a whole new setup. Um, um, I'm looking a little ratchet, so excuse. But yeah, anyway, to get you guys caught up on what's going on, um, people we were living with decided to go a different route and move out, which left me and my husband figuring something out for ourselves. We didn't have a whole lot of time. They say we had ample time. We knew staying with them wasn't permanent. And I've made sure to give them updates on what's going on and what we're finding and what we're not finding and all this and that. And explaining the whole COVID bullshit. How it took funds. It backed up waiting lists. It didn't matter when we started to apply. There were still backed up lists. But again. Um, so, moving forward. The person that we were living with, my husband's half-brother, um, decided to move in with girlfriend of two weeks. But we're not going to get into that. You know, I'm not going to totally spill the tea right now. Um, so anyway, so my husband and I had to start looking for options. We're not made of money. We don't have money. The money we do have pays the bills and that's about it. Do I get to go out and get my nails done all the time? No. Do I get to go get my hair done all the time? No. Can I go buy that new fancy outfit in the store? No. But what I do have is my life. I wake up every morning. I make the most of it. Enjoy it to what I can. Um, so, anyway. I don't want to make this too long. But it might. I'm sorry. Um, so, my husband. It was a team effort. <laughs> on our part. My husband managed to go onto Facebook Marketplace and found this 35 foot travel trailer. <sighs> Do I love it? Yeah. I have grown to love it. Does it need a lot of work? Yes. This used to be a pop out. The people who had it broke it trying to put it in so it can be roadworthy and transportable to where we are now. They completely broke it. I want it replaced because we literally lose a lot of space by not having it. So yeah. Um okay, I'm back. I had to just deal with the husband for a minute um got issues with neighbors i guess going on but anyway so so my husband found this trailer we were told leaks were fixed they added a roof for added protection which the person who hauled it was leery about the roof so the people removed the roof for us and I'm thinking, okay, no big deal. They just added it for added protection. They sealed up all the leaks. Found seven our first night in it. Um, we knew of a few of them. We already knew. Um, the very back where the other tip out is. Yeah, in the seven I found, I found there's one by the living sliding glass door has a leak. Kitchen window has a leak. There's a leak in the roof of the bathroom. It There's like a leak or two in the very back room where our bedroom is. That pop out still works and we need that pop out for our bed to fit or else our bed won't fit. We will literally be climbing over it to get to other sides. Um, we have no furnace in here. <laughs> and you're probably wondering how you stay warm in there. 
we have our fireplace we have a little mini heater it it does the job at night during the day when we get that sun it's heated up in here like our first couple nights i was in my literally big thick coat and now i'm just in a in a sweatshirt um we don't have water yet our are the lines that we hook up to are frozen so we don't and we don't have a holding tank apparently is what i'm being told um the tank we do have is it mixes everything i guess i don't yeah um we have a full-size fridge we have a full-size um, gas stove um, people who we got it from, they were starting to kind of fix it up themselves and then went other routes. So, yeah. Um, what else do we have? We have all of our, I, I wanted to make sure this had like electrical outlets. I should have known. Most of these usually have at least one or two outlets so you can plug in stuff. But, you know, I just, so much was going on, this wasn't working. Was not wanting to work. Um, and yeah, if you noticed before, I had a watch and I don't. I just found out it's dead. So I, did, I took it off. I don't know where I sat it, but I sat it somewhere. I don't know. Um, we're, we've got family coming out this weekend to help. Um, we have not cooked anything on the stove yet. We still need to like check for leaks, make sure the propane and all that, there's no leaks. Cause even though we asked about it and after finding out that we've been lied to pretty much, we're just not trusting it. Um, it does have a lot of cleaning. A lot of things are gonna have to be replaced. I already know that whole back area is gonna need to be replaced. Like I, it's, yeah, I don't even know what we're doing back there to get that livable so we can finally sleep in a bed. I sl he sleeps in the kitchen floor with blankets piled up to as many as we can find. I'm sleeping on the back couch cushions because our reclining sofa that we have that I usually see me on, the black sofa I'm usually on, um, comes apart. The backs actually come off. So I'm sleeping on those. Wish I really wish I could have the actual bottom part in here so I can like sleep on it. <laughs> it would be so much better for me. I'd still feel bad him on the floor, but it would give me something to sleep on for my back. That'd be him coming in right now with the dog. So I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, after interruption, I don't know, was that number two? I believe that was number two. He brought the dog back. He brought the dog back inside. <sighs> so anyway, trailer. Um, I really, really want this trailer to fix up. I don't want to give this trailer up at all. Like I'm liking it, I'm loving it. I'm loving the sliding glass door. That's like my, my thing. The only thing that, sucks right now is we lost the stairs in transport well actually they they made it all the way here it's just he had to kind of romp on it to get into our our slot that we're in and yeah that's what they popped off so we're needing to build stairs hubby build stairs off the other back door so that way i had an easier access since we don't have a toilet or anything right now the lock guy brought over a porta potty that is cleaned to i don't know it's like the taj mahal of porta potties that thing is super clean and doesn't stank um and um but we had a major major issues trying to get this trailer delivered like seriously like to the point to where the person who delivered it got fired and the boss took over and got it here um, so yeah, we've had a lot of, a lot of issues happen. Um, we had to get a storage unit. We have stuff under tarps outside. You know, it's just, 
it's really hard going from a studio apartment to living with family in almost a five bedroom apartment or house, I should say, house, where we had lots of space. Now we're in a 35 foot trailer. We lost some space with this pop out, which I really want to get this pop out, like, back. I, they're talking about walling it up and doing all this and that. I really, really want to do my best to get this back and functional. People are saying it won't happen. I have other people telling me we can get it. We can get it to work. So, I don't know. Right now, we just have it boards propped up and I'm stuffing things where I see open slots because it's not completely sealed sealed. It does have some air coming in. So, I really... Because without this, I am literally squished. There's no room in here for anything. You know, I'm pretty sure this is where our TV's gonna go, mounted somehow. Um, which is gonna be interesting. Mounting a 50 inch television, right here. It's gonna be real interesting. I don't know, we, I think we might put the 50 inch in our bedroom and put the smaller one that was in there right here. Cause I think that one might fit better here than our 50. But, you know, um, all I can say it's ours. We, we don't own it. You know, we don't have to pay for anything. We're, we don't have a mortgage. We don't have a trailer payment. We don't have anything. We just have to pay the lot, which is, you know, you know, the lot I found. So, you know. We're having to sponge bath because we have we have nothing. We have to boil water and do all that and sponge down. Um, with family coming in this weekend, we'll be able to actually get a real shower at a hotel. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure. But um, with that, I will. I would show you the full on trailer I would show you but it is just I'm not embarrassed by it I'm just not ready to so once I'm fully ready to then I'll show you I'll show you guys the outside probably at some point when I go out there right now it's really cold outside and I don't want to be outside it's nice and toasty in here like with that sun beating in the heaters going it's keeping this this front part the living and kitchen dining all in one area back here bathroom in the back room cold as a mud bath so anyway and this place is 420 friendly i have never hid that from you guys i do smoke i vape i i i'm not gonna hide it um, all I've ever said is, you know, 21 other responsibly. That's all I, I, you know, care about. That you're of age, do you. Um, anyway. Now that I've kind of rambled here and there and everywhere. Um. I will say, to lose all that. Big hugs and lots of love.